everybody. I'm Mr. Jude and I'm on to Abanet. Today I'm going to show you how to plot sites on Mapping for Professional. A Mapping for Professional is a GIS tool, geographic information system tool, and uh, it mostly most and um, it's always used by uh, optimization engineers to carry out one or two works as regards uh, optimization of sites. And today, I'm going to show you how to plot these sites on uh, Mapping for Professional. I have different versions, and I'm using this very one. When you launch a Mapping for Professional, um, it will ask you if you want to go back to your preferred session, which I'm going to say no. And of course, by saying no, I'm just going to cancel it. So I can do whatever work I'm going to do afresh. And let me show you what I want to plot. This is an Excel form of what I want to plot, which I've saved as Excel. It's going to plot these sites. These are sectors of these sites. The longitude and the latitude uh, tracking area code of these sites. I want to plot it on map. And with this uh, longitude and latitude, I will know their positions. So um, I will close it. Uh, so the first thing is to go to open. I go to the location where you saved the the file so i'm going to go to training and right here i will select because it's excel format and xls so that i will see the file i want to plot this plot okay i named it plot choose use row above select that and um, site name, okay? So this is the table, which I've opened the map for professional. This is the first uh, thing you will do, opening the table. The next thing is to plot it, okay? To plot it, you go to table here, create points. Make sure that the what is selected here is the very table you want to plot, which I named plot. And on that here, you can choose which uh, symbol you want to use. Um, most times, if you want to use a, you can choose map before me, Salenos. If you want to find, when you choose different options here, you have different symbols, but this is where I can see this uh, side symbol. Which color do you want to give it? You can choose here. Okay, let's put this color. Or let's put this color. The size is here. If you want to make it bold, you choose here. If you want to put border on it, you choose here. Whatever you want to do, okay? So the X, the X coordinate is always going to be for longitude. And the Y is always going to be for latitude. Make sure it's aligned. If your Excel file did not have any longitude and latitude named, it would be difficult for it to pick it automatically. So when you name longitude, you create a very a column for longitude and a column for latitude. Map before automatically will pick it up. Okay. And for projection, longitude and latitude. Of course, in Nigeria we always go for WGS. Uh, I click OK. And that's it. To show the, you can close the table problem. To show what you have plotted, you simply go to file, present files. You go to plot. These are the sites. Okay, I can minimize here to see everything I've plotted. This is that plotted. Okay. And bring up the player control. You right click, you click player control so that you'll be able to show the names. The sites. These are the sites I plotted. Okay. So the sites I plan. These are their different positions. Okay. Um, I'm going to be doing more and more about my preferred professional going forward, show you a lot of work, how to do. 
schematic mapping and the rest of them, uh, how to create polygon, how to save. All you need to do is to um, go to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash solution, subscribe and uh, on the notification. If you want to get trained, you can easily chat me up on my WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number is this. So you can easily chat me up. If you if you want to learn more from me, you can do the same. Okay? Is there anything you want to learn? You can simply chat me up on WhatsApp and uh, I'll be there to share ideas with you. Thank you. Bye.